Hi there, folks. Gareth here from TracyMatt.co.uk and Flex or Felix. Hi there, folks. Gareth here from TracyMatt.co.uk and Felix have sent me a right on Bluetooth keyboard. This is a $50 keyboard that's incredibly light. My packaging doesn't uh, doesn't bode well for it at the moment. It's just a bit of a white plastic and or white cardboard, very thin. But uh, here's the features on the back because I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be a real killer. Uh, it's ultra thin, lightweight, portable Bluetooth keyboard, compatible with iOS, Android and Windows devices, comfortable spacing keys with iOS shortcuts, two months between charges, and it's only 4.5 millimeters thick and 160 grams in weight. Uh, operates over 10 meters. There it is, en français. Okay, so let's get it out and have a look at it. Initially, very small. Is there anything else in here? There is. And that's as empty. Okay, so this in a bit of white cardboard is a USB cable. Micro USB to full size USB. Okay, plastic packaging. There does appear to be an extra little something there. Maybe it's a bit of candy. Okay, so this is the keyboard. It's very light. It's very, very light. It's incredibly light. Um, it won't take too many knocks. It's, it's very flimsy plastic. Uh, comparing, I've been using the Inatech one. I'll I'll post a link below for a comparison video, um, and this really doesn't feel terribly high quality in comparison to that uh, Inatech one, and they are about the same price. The Inatech one was about twenty five pounds, and this is fifty dollars, which works at about thirty quid perhaps. So this might be a wee bit more. It's a uh, it is a good looking keyboard. I'll give it that. And then in here we have a couple of little plastic. Or rubber feet that you can attach to stop it from sliding. Obviously there aren't any on here, there are just bare screws. So it is a very basic keyboard. It's quite nicely presented I suppose. Uh, some of these are do look a little a little bit ropey on the plastic front. That's, that's a thermoset plastic look there. And then you've got the USB charger point here. So what we'll do is we'll pair it off against my, I have my Samsung Galaxy 8.5, 8.4 here. And we're not going to bother with these just at the moment. Uh, we'll turn this on. There is a bit of power in it. Of course things have to be shipped with a little bit of battery life in it. Make that available and we'll scan. Although the power light has gone out. Okay, it's picked up a device. There we go, Bluetooth keyboard pairing. Six one zero seven two one. Seven five zero four seven zero Bluetooth connected. <clears throat> okay, well, I am seeing the benefits of the keyboard right away given that it is tiny. I like this tablet because it is so thin and light. This keyboard does seem to be the perfect pairing for it. Uh, if we go to Google, we're just going to have a quick look at Tracy and no, oh, didn't even get close there okay so it typed and it received the uh, 
the functions. Okay, so let's have a quick look and see what functions we actually have on the keyboard here. We have control button down here and we have a function button. And there's an alt and option. And that might be a Windows function and command. So it does look to cater for a number of different operating systems. I'm not too sure what that stain is. Maybe it's from my hands. Okay, shift, caps lock, tab. And along here we have functions attached to the typical numeric pad. Now this is American, so we are losing the pound sign up here. And we are losing the inverted commas, or speech marks, over the two, which will be down here instead. Uh, there is, we'll have a look and see what this does. Function, that. Does nothing function that does nothing function that does nothing I'm wondering actually if the uh, the battery here is dying a bit Okay, we're not seem to be connected anymore. The Bluetooth is flashing there, so the battery must be. And it's uh, maybe there's only a couple of percent left. There is no indicator to say what, how much charge there is in the battery. But uh, generally, Bluetooth keyboards don't tend to have that anyway. So uh, going along with the functions here, we have uh, bring up the on-screen keyboard, uh, copy. Uh, World Wide Web, uh, music controls there, and volume, and then lock over at the very end there. We got some uh, cursor keys down here, which are nicely spaced, I'll give them that. They're, a lot of these, they tend to stick in a couple of other buttons here just to really confuse things. Whereas you might be able to use these cursor keys uh, without actually accidentally hitting buttons, because cursor keys tend to get more random play. Um, because you don't concentrate so much on what you're pressing, you kind of rely on the layout that you know uh, for going up and down spreadsheets and things like that. So if they put in other buttons here, you tend to clip them just by accident. And I've noticed that of a number of Bluetooth keyboards I've looked at in the past. So that that is a nice addition, and I don't I don't mind having a slightly larger keyboard if they have taken the time to just give you that little bit of extra space. So kudos to Felix, kudos to Felix for doing that. That's uh, that's kind of nice. I would like to know what most of these functions did, um, but obviously maybe they're more catered for iOS or Windows and that sort of thing. But whilst there isn't a dedicated Windows button, I'm guessing this little X probably has something to do with it. And there's one on this side as well. And they're not Alt, because Alt is there. But yeah, um, for, for $50, I think you can do better, um, especially that Inatech one, because it had the lovely uh, aluminium back to it that really strengthened it a good deal and it was it was cheaper than this it is slightly bulkier that I have to give it to them they have managed to get this down to almost credit card thickness that there's nothing to that at all that is damn thin but in in saying that that takes away uh, an awful lot of the uh, actual robustness of the keyboard and packaging in these I guess that's the only solution they can have because feet can cause problems Keep feet add to thickness having them there so at least this way they're making them optional extras and again these are these are cheapest chips you probably have lots of them knocking around the house for cupboard doors or whatever to stop them slamming so loud so yeah, uh, it's it's an option. It really is an option if you need to be as thin as possible. And Felix have really, really cut down on everything here to make it as thin as possible. That There is a bit of a lump there. I don't know if you can see, but that's probably from the casting process. That's where it's been, the, the whole thing's been attached. And there's a bit of a stylish swipe here at the, the port connector, um, which you know, works. But I would have, I would have liked to have seen uh, some form of battery 
notification, like maybe these flash or something to tell you how low the battery is, but there's no instructions with this to let you know. But it, it, it's got a good layout. There seems to be a decent amount of space between the keys. Uh, they're clear, uh, large. I can't really, I can't really say anything too bad about it. It's, it's, it's okay. It's thin. It's very, very, very thin. And for that, well done, Felix. Nice product. Links below of how you can pick one up if, if this is the kind of thing that you want, but I'll also throw in a link to the Inner Tech video and you can have a look at that too. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Take care now.